Ladies and gentlemen, we are back with another video. And this time it's about ice cream from Iowa. I don't know what it is about <laughs> Iowa lately, but there's a lot of stuff showing up <laughs> from Iowa in our videos. <laughs> Must be some uh, pretty decent things going on down there. Yeah. Uh, what this is is Blue Bunny. It's uh, one of my favorite ice creams, and I would highly recommend it to everyone outside of Iowa as well. <laughs> but uh, it's called Loaded Sundays. This one's Monster Cookie, which is also another one of my faves. I like mm -hmm. uh, oatmeal, peanut butter, M&M's, vanilla ice cream, all that kind of stuff all rolled into one little fascinating ice cream <laughs> extravaganza. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Um, one thing I like about this ice cream a lot is it's always soft. It could be in the freezer for months and you take it out and it's soft, ready to go. Yeah, it's almost kind of more like a soft serve ice cream. And mine is salted caramel pecan. So it's got caramel and fudge swirls, pecans, chocolatey sea salt, caramel bunnies. Bunnies. I think mine's melting a little bit. It's got that kind of fudge mm -hmm. that like sticks, you know, like the residual fudge flavor that lasts and uh, <laughs> it's really good, you know? Yeah, like a fudge sundae. Yeah. Salted caramel is really good too. I've never had this one. I like it. I've had the monster cookie. I haven't had that one, so I should uh, maybe get that one try. Um, I'm a fan of salt and caramel. I think uh, it's pretty good. Mm. Monster cookie is always good. Hmm. This one's pretty good. I still prefer monster cookie over it, but yeah, it's probably mm -hmm. just because I'm a big peanut butter fan. Mm -hmm. So, yeah, but yeah, that one's good too. I like pecans though, like, yeah, there's a good amount of them in there too. Mm -hmm. So, you get it like in pretty much every bite, I think. Yeah, it tastes that way. I'm gonna trade back because, <laughs> yeah, mm. but I don't know, sometimes it's always hard to find like good ice cream that's soft or you know. A good balance of everything you're looking for and when I came across this I was sold um, Hope found it actually mm -hmm. she brought it home and I don't yeah. know man there must be something in the water down in Iowa they <laughs> do some pretty good things down there maybe it's that good corn that they feed the cows and then the cows make good dairy or something maybe the Iowa corn but yeah I think I first saw the monster cookie one, right? Is that the first one I bought you? Because I, so. I knew that had his name all over it because he loves peanut butter. So, mm. but yeah, we both thought that it was really good. They have other flavors, obviously, too, like most ice creams, but mm -hmm. they have like a peanut butter bunny one or something that's like majority of peanut butter. Yeah. Cookie dough, anything you can imagine, probably. Mm -hmm. And the, th the other thing I like, too, is, like, the small things. I know that a lot of places do that, too, but I don't know. When I have ice cream, I'm a pig. <laughs> That's probably why I like this stuff from Iowa. <laughs> um, but I'll eat too much. And so these little things are nice where I can kind of just down it. Portion control. Yeah. And then I'll... You know, I'll purposely only buy a couple or something like that so <laughs> that it forces me to have to go back to the store because I don't really like going to the store all the time. But <laughs> I do like going to the grocery store. Yeah, you do. I'm a big fan of going to the grocery store when I'm hungry because <laughs> it's almost like Christmas morning or something, you know, and you're like anticipating the gifts, like leading up to Christmas and whatever. <laughs> If you go to the grocery store hungry, oh, it's just like everything's beautiful. <laughs> it's like what every like financial advice tells you not to do when you're <laughs> trying to save money. Like 
don't go to the grocery store when you're hungry because then you'll buy everything and go way over your grocery budget. <laughs> But yeah, it's always funny going grocery shopping with Greg though, because like he's very like meticulous about his choices and he has to stop and think about each choice. And at American grocery stores, there's like 50 different choices. So it can be a very slow process. They make it hard. <laughs> and there's like 300 different styles of chips. I'm just like, man, should I get the one with extra nacho cheese or should I get the one that just has like a little nacho cheese? <laughs> mm. Yeah. I can get it in the shape hmm. of doodles or I can get it in the shape of circles or something. You know, I just don't. It's so funny. So yeah, I have to be in the right mood to go grocery shopping with him because sometimes it's a little bit too much for me, but... Yeah, it's probably like um, what many men feel like when they go shopping with their wives, like for clothing or anything like that. That stuff usually doesn't bother me, you know, going shopping with Hope and stuff like that. But what I mean is um, the grocery store is like, I don't know, it's like Nirvana or something to me. <laughs> <laughs> you just, you can look at all, all the sea of goodies and stuff and I can be there, you know forever sometimes she'll like not tell me she's going or <laughs> like this... she'll dread going if i'm stopping or, or she'll say no just wait in the car i'll go in there and get it <laughs> yeah because i know it'll be like a two-hour trip <laughs> if greg comes mm -hmm. so yeah but it is fun and then we have a lot of good snacks in the house after greg goes grocery shopping so it's kind of like my brother he always says like when he goes shopping he jokes around about um when you go shopping with uh, women it's like that phrase in the movie the terminator they're relentless they absolutely <laughs> will not stop until you are dead <laughs> like and that's probably what grocery shopping feels like for hope with me. <laughs> yes Almost, almost that extreme. But yeah, like, I don't like grocery shopping when I'm hungry because I'll get, like, hangry because, like, you take too long picking everything out. <laughs> and then I'm just like, we need to go and get out of here so we can eat some food. Yeah, I don't know. I'm just kind of like... It's like a buffet of stuff that I can, like, see days out that are just like, ooh. Three days from now I can have this kind of chips or I can have that kind of cookie. It's dangerous. I'm usually pretty good about, you know, being mentally strong about things, but the grocery store is a weakness to me. <laughs> <laughs> Confession time. <laughs> it's like when you were a kid and you'd go to the arcade and you just sit there and play arcade games all day long. Like that's what the grocery store is kind of like sometimes for me. It's just like, I could go down this aisle and I could go down that aisle. But <laughs> anyway, Blue Bunny, highly recommend it. We appreciate you guys tuning in. Um, give us any comments, uh, feedback that you have, and have a great rest of your day. Yeah, see you later. Bye-bye.